going on, Brosif? Today we got us a noisy dishwasher. Uh, as you can hear, it's making a racket, the motor. I got him a new motor here, ordered it from HD. So first thing we're gonna do is turn the water off to the dishwasher. Then we're gonna pull these two screws out. And once you get those two screws out, the whole dishwasher will come out. We'll flip it upside down and replace the motor. Super simple. Take the front panel off. Make sure there's not a piece of paper or something just hitting on the motor. Cause I don't really know what's going on here cause I was gifted this work order. Coming in behind somebody. No, everything looks clear. We'll just replace the motor. I'll go ahead and take the bottom rack out because you're gonna be turning the dishwasher upside down. Take these two screws out and we'll slide the whole debacle out of here. We unplug it first. Here in Florida, you can do this. The ones I usually worked on, they're wired, hardwired here, but when I got over here, they were plug-ins. I said, what the heck? But I didn't build the place, okay, guys? Now we'll just slide the whole deal out. I got the water off. I like to remove the spring that goes here. Remove that spring, it connects there. It's a lot easier to get to the to the water line. Once we get, get the water line off, turn it upside down. Just make sure the water is off or you're gonna have a big mess. Oh, we need to take the drain hose off too. Need to get me one of those stubby nut drivers. I like how the installer put it facing down. When I reinstall, I'm gonna make it easy for the next guy that's gonna come along and put it forward. So he can pop the front panel off and do it from the front. All right, now we're ready to go upside down. All right, all you're pretty much doing is loosening up that, that, and taking that off. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much cream cheese, man. Just wanna make sure Get everything unplugged. <clears throat> and let's see, I think that's it. Nut driver. Ooh, wrong side. I want to remember how this goes on though, it can be confusing. that brace back on I think I had some old head scratchers with that so you don't need to take this all the way out just loosen it and then the motor will slide on out plop the new one in do everything in reverse Might need two hands for this. Might. No, I'm good. Some people say get a GoPro. I've thought about that, but the sound on those things, I don't, I don't like the sound. It's real tinky. Oh, sorry. There's one more here that you'll have to loosen up. Then it'll slide out for you. Get that band underneath there. That's it. Pop the new one in. Do everything in reverse. I don't see anything suspicious. It's definitely loud though.
New one is in. Tighten everything back down nice and snug. Tighten the brace back down. And that should be it. Go over my work. That's tight. That's tight. I'll give that a little more. And if something drips once you run it, don't panic. Just give everything a little, another little quarter turn and it should stop. I've had a few drippers sometimes. Let's see, where is it? There it is. And that is it. New dishwasher motor installed. And some people say, hey, why don't you just replace the dishwasher? It's easy. Yeah. Doing the motor or the dishwasher, I don't mind. Both are so easy. All right, I'm going to flip it over, hook up my water line, plug it in, and see what's up. See what happens. Finish tightening the drain hose. That's the one you really want tight. Because when that sucker dumps, you don't want this sucker blowing off. I'm on the second floor too. All right, that seems good. Got the water back on. No drippies coming from the water line. That's good. And I like to leave it. I like to leave it pulled out like that, so I can watch it. You can watch it easier for any drippies and fix it easier if you have any. All right, I got the water on. Let's try it out. Sounds better. It's not so loud. It's just dry too. Once it gets water in there, it will quiet it up. But it's definitely not as loud as it was. Got some drips coming out from when I turned it upside down. All the water went forward. I want to adjust these back, back legs too because if the dishwasher is pitched forward, water will come out the front. So I'm going to let it fill up and do a cycle. I'll be back. All right, we have blast off. It's running. New motor sounds good. No drips. If it was dripping, it'd be obvious. I don't know, it'd be obvious. You would see it. I've had some drippers in my day, and it's uh, it's not slight. It's a gusher when you see one. But everything looks good. I'm gonna let it drain and make sure my drain hose ain't dripping. All right, it's draining. Eee, old sudsy. Old sudsy drain. Better keep an old eyeball on this one. Get all suds out. Drain hose, nice and dry. That's where I'm looking, right around here. See some drippies? Just tighten that baby up right there. But we're dry, Skid. I'm gonna go ahead and slide her back in and mount it up. All right, I got it all buttoned up. Sounding like a normal dishwasher. This is the old motor here. I don't see anything fishy. This is that little propeller that turns in the waste basket. Sometimes a straw or some debris will get on here to make it, and that'll make it loud, like once it gets on this propeller here. But everything looks good. I don't know. Real easy though, I mean if you got one of those property managers that thinks she's saving a lot of money by replacing the motor, just replace the motor. It's just as easy as a whole dishwasher. Are you saving money? Ah, I don't know, you might need to look into that. I've heard yes and I've heard no. I haven't looked at the prices in a while so you might save a hundred bucks or so by just replacing the motor. Alright that's it, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video.